So guys, we start by drawing the chain line and the jaw line, which goes almost up to the middle line of the square. And then on the edges of the jaw line, draw the, the ears that go onto the side lines of the square with a kind of a V shape. Now we start drawing the face features like the mouth, nose, uh, also the ears and then the eyes. I draw the mouth a bit closer to the center line because uh, I made a, a little mistake here but I'll fix it in a, in a minute. Now that I'll start drawing the hair, I'll first make kind of an underline to know the proportions of the the hairline, so it's easier to draw. Since Mirio is quite a muscular character, we'll have to draw quite a thick neck. Here I start drawing some of the hair next to the neck. Something that helps drawing the hair and keeping the proportions right is to draw a line around the, the head to know where the hair goes and all the spiky uh, parts of it and the higher ones and you know all that kind of stuff the same thing happens to the body hands even some parts of the face it helps a lot Now that I start drawing his body, I'll again make a rough figure uh, around his chest and you know, just again to keep the right proportions of him, uh, of his body. So now that the rough figure is done, I'll start adding some details. I'll start adding the muscle lines, uh, the shirt folds and uh, all that. Also the hands, which I should be starting drawing now. <laughs> uh, yeah, everything starts from there. I'll just draw everything uh, with a very light hand. And then when the, that is done, I'll start pressing a bit harder and adding details. Now I'll start drawing the other hand, again same thing, rough figure, very light handed, when that's done, start adding details.
I made some changes in my character's face since I realized the eyes were too big and too far from each other. Now I made them too small and too close to each other, but yeah, hopefully you get it at the first attempt, hopefully. So guys, now that we're done with the sketching part, let's get ink in. Uh, I'll be using a 0.5 Sakura Micron pen and a 0.3 fine liner. I don't really know the brand of it, but yeah, I'll be using the thicker fine liner for the outlines, hands, etc. And the thinner one for hairlines, eyebrows, but it's pretty much all with the thicker one. So guys, another thing I like to mention in this stage is don't get too nervous or don't try to be too careful. I mean, you can be careful but not extremely careful because that sometimes sometimes it makes you actually make some mistakes. So just take your time, keep calm and enjoy the process. To get some color to our drawing, uh, I'll be using Faber Castell Classic Pencils. It's a box of 60 pencils. In it, all the colors I'll be using will be in the description, guys. So if you want to check it out, if you've got the same pencils, just give it a try. When using coloring pencils, try to use the dark colors first. Like for the skin, I'll be using the dark brown first. Then I'll just change like to a light brown or something like that and then end up uh, with peach or the sand color uh, and yeah the same thing for the clothes I'll be using like a gray for the shadows uh, of the shirt I, I'll be using first a, a, a cold gray and then a warm gray and then white just to make it look a bit nicer uh, and yeah, try to always use the dark colors first. Here I use the cotton swab onto the skin to smudge it a bit. I'm 
is ancient and far to home But if you wanna travel, then go alone Yeah, what's the point in us if I never know? Yeah, if you're gonna leave, I'ma let you go I'm tired of the pain Go away I'm tired of the So here I decided to make something in the background since there was so much empty space. Uh, it's a quite simple ba background so I think it kind of fits with the tutorial thing. Uh, and yeah, this is pretty much it for the tut today's tutorial guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, my next tutorial will be on Orochimaru, I hope you, you like him uh, and yeah, you look forward to it. Also if you try this tutorial with me and you have Instagram. Post your drawing on Instagram with the hashtag Sig Drawings so I can see your drawings of my tutorials. Also, if you're new uh, in this channel, obviously, don't forget to subscribe, uh, hit the like button, and also, if you think it will help a friend or someone of your family, I guess, or even your dog, just share it with someone, and yeah, I'll be that will be very appreciated. Yeah, guys, this is pretty much it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, take care.